Hi, I'm Shannon Steffi, Senior Editor for Internal Auditor Magazine. I'm speaking with Mark Ball, who will be presenting a session at the IA's international conference called How to Audit in a Virtual World on Tuesday, July 8th at 5 p.m. Mark has been Chief Audit Executive at Smalls since 2010, a not-for-profit IT company working exclusively for Belgian federal social security institutions, where he is responsible for all internal audit activities reporting to the Audit Committee. Mark has 20 years experience in risk and information security management, business continuity management and disaster recovery planning, data protection and privacy, and IT audit. In addition to his work with ISACA, Mark is a guest professor at Antwerp Management School and Solvay Brussels School, and a deputy member of the Flemish Privacy Commission. Welcome, Mark. How are you today? Hi. Hi, Sharon. Welcome for having me. Thank you. Well, can you tell our viewers a little bit about what you'll be covering in your session? Well, um, when I heard uh, the opportunity of having the session, I thought, how can I create um, some inspiration for the audience based on my own experience? And basically, I cover five topics which are linked to each other. The first one is basically how to keep track of IT innovations, because a lot of people hear about IT, but how to keep track of that in a sensible way, what kind of social media or websites they have to follow. Also, how to review all the technology in the sense of you know, uh, including topics and, and how they can help, uh, this technology can help the auditors in their work. Mm -hmm. um, also how to explore the technological innovations such as you know, bring your own device and cloud computing and big data. We, all, we hear all these buzzwords constantly. But how do we do that? And, and how do we um, look at it from two angles? First of all, as an auditor, how on earth am I going to audit this once this becomes a reality in my company? But also on the other side, on the flip side, is how can I as an internal auditor use this to make my work easier, faster, leaner, and, and you know, more uh, recyclable? Mm -hmm. um, also, um, I, I want to emphasize the link between IT and as a partner for the internal audit, uh, as a true partner, because the world is moving on. The IT department is itself under fire because it's perceived as you know slow, very costly by the business. And the business itself sees opportunities in the real world in enabling IT themselves through all this new software as a service and all these other uh, new innovations. Mm -hmm. So therefore, IT is looking also for other partners uh, in the company and on internal audit can be one of them. And then also, finally, I want to emphasize on frameworks and there I would like to focus on um, COVID-5, which is a new version since uh, two years now, which gives you a little bit of a grasp, I call it an inspiration source for many auditors on, okay, how to get in touch with IT, but at the same time, don't be afraid of it and, and go for it and look at it from a process perspective, but at the same time, have a kind of a structured way, not forgetting elements or getting things out of scope. So those are the five elements I would really like to emphasize in my presentation, and I hope to give a lot of examples and, and cases by which people can really uh, bring it to their own uh, actual audit work. Great. Why is it so important for audit to involve their ID department in engagements? Well, in the current world, things move really fast. And um, as an auditor, you get confronted uh, more and more with digital information. Uh, invoices, everything gets digitized. You have e-invoices. Um, a lot of the paper trail is gone, it's become digital. So you wonder how do we keep track of that and, and how do you audit this? Um, and in that sense, it's, it's, uh, the complexity makes it a little bit um, you know, dangerous at the same time. It, it, and most auditors don't have enough skills or think they don't have enough skills. And that's basically not true. I'm a firm believer that auditors can, ask by, uh, can start by asking the right questions in terms of what kind of process do we run, how does it work. And, and based on that, uh, they can hook up with, for example, the IT department, because the, the IT department is the custodian of all this information. And they are looking for assistance, so they're partners in crime, so to speak, in mm -hmm. terms of connecting with each other, mm -hmm. uh, helping each other by understanding what the business wants, what the controls are. And I think the auditor is looking for the controls, and if they actually work, the IT department wants to learn control by design, and, and they want to improve their way of implementing solutions for the business. So it's a, a two-way street and, and I think there they have to meet each other. And I think I will give examples of how that work in practice through topics like innovation, like uh, HR audits, but also just uh, basic uh, 
ideology itself, so it's also the technology itself. And I always say to people, um, you don't have to be afraid of an auditor. We always come when uh, the management believes everything is under control. Uh, because then it's that's where you add value by proving that either it's under control, so management rest assured, yes, we're correct, or if there are improvement points, how can we help that? But in a constructive manner. And I think, especially as internal auditor, work together with all these parties and with IT is in a special, a special position to be in. Sure. Can you talk about some examples of what an auditor should know about IT security? Well, IT security was always a topic. Uh, as soon as computers were uh, imported in the company, um, IT security is a topic and I think people should have that on three basics. Eh? It's about confidentiality, access controls, that everybody loves to do, but also about integrity, which is a very important point in terms of making sure that the data is correct. And thirdly, also availability. Um, data has to be available. Now, it is in and out of the press constantly. And now, uh, recently, you know, with the, the heartbleed vulnerability, it has shown to people like, we have all these magnitude of components. Some of them are actually, um, you know, open source. They are available. They are maintained by two or four volunteers, which is kind of scary that big multinational companies are relying on components developed by two or four people, mm -hmm. which is funny. On the other hand, it's kind of challenging. And I think the role of the auditor is, first of all, you don't have to be a master in science, in IT, or in security management, but go there and ask the right questions, doing a risk analysis on, and, and just basically confront a security officer or IT security people and asking them questions by learning, but also at the same time challenging them in terms of how do you master or how do you control this environment. So in that sense, IT security is a topic. Uh, I will talk about it also in my presentation and, and give some examples. But it's, it's about figuring out the maturity of security in an organization on information because the data is digital more and more, but also on IT itself. So the two topics kind of blend in. Great. Now, if our attendees could take only one thing away from your session, what would you want that to be? Well, I thought about uh, that and basically my one of my favorite quotes is the one of Steve Jobs who say, stay hungry, stay foolish. It's about keep it, be alert, be curious, stay uh, informed about this and, and you know, uh, inform yourself about this. Don't be afraid of this. It's actually fantastic uh, to see these evolutions, and it and as I said, it it helps you to be a better auditor. But at the same time, look at opportunities to use these tools to become a better auditor. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for your time today, Mark. We're looking forward to seeing you in London. Okay. Thank you very much. And yes, indeed, uh, hope to see you too in London. Thank you.